Hello, it's Adele de Casso here, and it's Monday morning, so it's time for another success tip. Uh, and today I want to share with you a few little things that I've learned over the years, actually, which have all helped me when I've suffered with nerves. Um, so mostly, really, in my business, it's been when I've been presenting at meetings or at training sessions, or even just presenting the business to people on a one-to-one -one situation. I've got really, really nervous. Um, and I don't think nerves ever disappear altogether. I think even the best speakers today suffer from nerves. And I think it's a really good thing, actually, that we have nerves because it's, it does make us give a better performance. I really think so, anyway. Um, but there are things that you can do that will help you to control the nerves and to feel like you're in control of the situation. So the first thing I want to share with you um, came from a mentor of mine and a good friend, Wendy Mason Paul. Um, and she said to me, um, when you, before you start a presentation, if the first thing that you say at the beginning um, is this, it will help it go a lot smoother. And she was so right. And all it was, was very, very simple. She just said, uh, say to the audience that you're not a professional speaker, but what you have to say is really, really important. And I can't tell you how much of a difference that makes in the way you feel. You feel like, and I used to sort of worry sometimes that, you know, would the audience want to listen to me? Would they think that I've got anything worthwhile to say? Uh, but when you begin your presentation with those words, it does give you so much confidence um, and belief that what you're actually talking about is really, really important to the audience. So I'd recommend that one. And the second one um, came from a really good mentor of mine, a lady called Jan Roo, who was a very successful business person um, and still is. <laughs> and, um, and she used to talk about the butterflies in your stomach. And everybody gets butterflies, and it's, again, a natural thing. But if you just think about those butterflies all flying in formation, uh, then it helps um, you to feel a lot better. And, um, you know, obviously the butterflies are still there, but they're all in a controlled sort of situation rather than being all over the place. So just imagine the butterflies flying in formation, and that will help you as well. And the last thing that I want to share with you is a tip that I got from uh, an author, um, another mentor of mine that I always follow and um, you know, has some brilliant books, and that's Paul McGee. And his was very, very simple again, and all he said was, instead of feeling nervous, why not feel adrenalized? Um, and again, you know, I can't tell you how much this helps me. As soon as I started looking at my nerves um, and being nervous, instead uh, as being adrenalized, things just you know, changed, and I felt so much more in control whenever I was in the situation where I was speaking in front of people. Um, so I really recommend that you use all three of those. Um, you know, maybe at least the second two anyway, but um, the first one, you know, obviously is, is quite um, unique to, to public speaking. But there are a lot of situations um, where, you know, we do get nervous. Um, you know, it could be an interview or talking to people that you haven't spoke to before. Um, so, in, you know, the other two, for sure, you can use those in any situation. So I um, hope that helps you and I'll see you all next week. Bye bye.